welcome back to my channel. Today is very different and I know I keep saying that, but I've been really trying to branch out and explore different topics on my YouTube channel because you never know what someone who deals with eczema is also dealing with because anybody can have eczema. So my YouTube channel is all centered around eczema healing naturally, but today we are talking about how I deal with my anxious thoughts naturally. So, on to tip number one. I'm going to preface tip number one by saying that, you know, I have never been diagnosed with anxiety. So, with that being said, I only have anxious thoughts. You know what I mean? So, if you're somebody who actually does have anxiety and you feel like it's taking over your life, it's consuming you, please go get professional help. I'm only here to provide personal tips that I use to reduce the amount of anxiety or anxious thoughts that I deal with on a daily basis. Okay, now that that's been said, the number one thing I do is avoid grains. Now I obviously have dealt with eczema, so my body has what's called an autoimmune disorder. And that means that I'm pretty sensitive to different proteins found in food, one of which is something called lectins. And I always reference this book, but if you read The Plant Paradox and if you read The Gut-Brain Connection, those two books are incredible about understanding the gut-brain connection, meaning that your whatever you're putting into your body, into your gut, into your intestines, affects the way that your mind and body works. Grains are very high in the protein called lectin. So when I avoid grains, I have, I've, I've been avoiding grains. I've been way more like paleo, keto based diet. I have literally had the most positive, uplifting, more clear thoughts than I've had in so long. It's been like three straight weeks of not feeling confined to my own mind. Moving on to tip number two, and something that keeps me grounded if my mind starts to drip, drift in a negative or anxious direction is reading. This book called The Power of Now is really incredible in keeping me grounded, in pulling my mind back to myself, centering myself, realizing my self-worth, realizing that all of these anxious thoughts that I have need to be reeled back in. I need to come to reality a little bit. Um, so this book is super powerful. It's written by, um, I don't want to butcher his name, so I'm just going to show you guys um, or put it on the screen. But he has an incredible way of talking about religion and life in a way that inspires you and makes you realize that I have the power over my own reality. I have the power to really connect myself with my body. And this is a really deep subject, but it's just grounding yourself and that's the easiest way I can put it. So tip number three, this is a super short video, but I wanted to just share these in case you guys are dealing with some anxious thoughts as well. Number three is probiotics. I preach probiotics. I have two catchphrases that I always say, and it's, have you drank enough water? And are you taking probiotics? And this is because probiotics are basically good bacteria that lives in your gut and helps your body do everything. Cuts down on sugar cravings if you have the right good bacteria in your body and if you're not feeding the bad bacteria sugar. This is super scientific. I'm gonna bring it back in. Basically start implementing probiotics into your diet. Specifically, um, this strain of bacteria is really great in fixing um, anxiety. And so this is scientifically proven by doctors uh, that study this and it has known to reduce anxiety. So I don't want to get too far deep into this because like I said, you know, I'm a health coach that specializes in eczema healing. I only have my own experiences with reducing my anxious thoughts. 
So I hope this helps you guys. I'm no way in telling you like this is how you do it, but this is how I try to do my thing. So I hope this helps. Um, let me know down below, like do you deal with anxious thoughts and eczema? Do you deal with anxious thoughts and find that grains also make you anxious? Um, just, I'm letting you guys know you're not alone. I deal with these things too. I'm not a perfect person. Um, and that's it, you know? I'm just trying to be more real with you guys and let you know who I am, um, what I deal with on a day-to-day -day basis, and how I cope with everything naturally because that's what I'm all about. So thank you guys for watching. Um, if you want more content that's a little bit different, let me know down below. Also, give this video a big thumbs up if any of these tips can help you in any way. So thanks for watching.